Remember this phrase, signature by mark. Remember this, signature by mark. Remember this, signature by mark. I said it three times so you can pass the test the first time. You're going to recognize this on the test. When you get it, it's going to be an easy point. Okay, here's why. What if a person that you meet with who needs their documents notarized cannot spell their own name? What if they're handicapped and they can't write for themselves? If it's mental or if it's physical and they can't do it themselves, can you then still notarize the documents for them? Yes, you can. If they can't write their name, maybe they were a veteran, missing limbs or something, they can do a what? Signature by mark. But there's special steps and circumstances that must happen for you to do it. Now, I'm looking at my notes here. I'm going to make it official and read it to you. When the signer of the instrument cannot sign their name, the person may sign the document by mark. That's in the civil code. But here's the requirements for notarizing in that way. The person signing the document by mark must be identified by you, the notary, with um, the normal requirements, which I talked about in other videos, how you identify who you're talking to, who you're meeting with, right? Now, the signer's mark must be witnessed by how many people? Two. Must be witnessed by how many people? Two. The signer's mark must be witnessed by how many people? Two. And those people, after he or she has done their mark, must sign their name on the document as the witnesses. And one witness is going to actually write John's name. The person who did the mark is John. John just did an X. Then Mike is going to write John's full name out. That's his witness, his trusted witness. Um, let's see. You're going to sign their name. The witnesses are only verifying that they witnessed this person sign their mark on the document. Okay. The sign of the mark must include their mark in the notary journal too. So you're putting that mark in the notary journal to qualify as a signature. The mark, the making of the mark in the notary public journal must be witnessed by an individual who must write the person's name in the notary journal also next to the mark. And we already had a video about the notary journal and look at my old video about what if you lose the notary journal and who's responsible for that notary journal and the penalties for not taking care of that notary journal properly. That's in a prior video. Anyway, pass this test the first time. I got your back. Repeat this video. And like my son said, go ahead and um, let's grow this community and subscribe. And I'll make sure you pass that test the first time. See you on the next video.